Deep within the heart of the Okanagan range of the Cascade Mountains lies 18,000 hectares of the most rugged and diverse landscapes that British Columbia has to offer. And for four lucky hikers, this became the ultimate backcountry playground. This is the Cathedrals. What's going on guys? We're back at it again. This time it's a bit of a different trip than we had anticipated. We're supposed to actually be at Berg Lake this weekend, but unfortunately we're in the middle of a massive heat wave which melted the glacier at a crazy, crazy rate. Um, so the lake actually came up a meter and a half in, in about a day, flooded out all the campsites. So we had to change our plans as we got canceled last minute. That's okay, we're doing something we haven't done before uh, and we're actually really excited. Today we are at Cathedral Lakes. So we're gonna spend four days hiking up in the cathedrals uh, and we're actually super excited because we've got some friends with us today. Say hi to the gang. We've got Lene, best friend. Bree, <laughs> and Greg. Those of you who haven't seen these guys before, um, these guys are our main kind of adventure partners and you'll see lots of them this weekend. We're excited. We're taking the Unigog or Yumigog up to the actual core area, which is going to be a lot better than hiking about 18k. So it should be pretty cool. We'll show you guys once the uh, once the transport gets here, and uh, I'm hoping it's not too much of a bumpy ride. And then yeah, like all the night. Usually we'd say yes. We just made it up to the actual lodge site. Pretty crazy little ride up. We ended up taking a couple big Suburbans. Um, the Unimogs weren't running today. What do you guys think? I wish we had them. I want to ride in the back so bad. I know. Uh, yeah. Fun. It's a little chilly up here to start with. We're going to kind of take a look at a few of the campsites and maybe uh, make our way up to one of the higher ones. Um, it's a little bit rainy right now, so we might try and set up as soon as possible and then go from there. So we just got set up here at Dick of the Woods Campground. Unfortunately, we, just as we came into camp and we were looking for spots, it absolutely torrential downpour. Got saucy. <laughs> so we're hanging out underneath the tarp. For now. <laughs> Thankfully, Greg uh, threw a tarp in the bag, which is something that I did not bring. Greg's the MVP. Um, but we are definitely super thankful to have a little bit of cover while we're kind of getting set up. We found two really good kind of pads here. We're gonna probably hang out here for the day I think if it does clear up we might take a look at uh, that Pyramid Lake if we can get up there. But for now we're here. On the road again. So we just finished up a little bit of lunch and it finally stopped raining. So we are gonna go check out a couple of the other little lakes close by. Maybe look at some camping spots for later on in the, the five day set that we're here. Probably give it a couple kilometers and then kind of reevaluate. Keep it late for the first day because I think tomorrow and the next day are gonna be a little bit bigger. Greg, did you bring the fishing rod? You betcha, bud. I'm gonna be in that hole. I think they got some good cutthroat in these ones, so let's see if we can catch some fish.
fly fishing Finchy strikes again. Oh, look at that girl. So we just staggered back into camp. We made it all the way up to Lady Slipper Lake. Uh, let's see what we got for dinner tonight. It looked bigger with the head on. <laughs> all in all, it took us about an hour and a half to get all the way up there. Um, it was a little bit windy, but not too bad. And then we fished for a little bit, hung out just around the lake, it did kind of the perimeter all the way up and around the lake. Uh, and then came home and it took us about an hour to get down from there. Still threatening to storm a little bit. Um, we're hoping it holds off. We're gonna probably make up some dinner, do some food, relax for a little bit, kick our feet up, and uh, it might be an earlier night tonight. We'll see kind of how it goes. Well, what was your assessment of dinner? Dinner was good. Hot chocolate is even better. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> Seeking the heat in the tent. Oh, it is a feeling? little chilly, but yeah. good. Good day of hiking. Cliff Michelin man. I know. The camera adds 10 pounds. <laughs> <laughs> so we just finished up dinner. And uh, like Lene said, it's actually dropping temperature wise quite a bit here. Bree's actually cuddled up in her sleeping bag already. Trying to get warm. Uh, we were just talking about to the opportunity next time we come up and do something a little bit colder to actually use what are they called hot paws or hot hands something like that in the sleeping bag which would be genius for keeping the feet warm especially on a cold night and I think both the girls are pretty sold on that idea for next time. Greg's out chatting the neighbors. I don't know if you can see him. Surprise, surprise. Surprise, surprise. Way down there somewhere we sent him to do dishes and it's 15 minutes later. Um, we're gonna hang out for a bit. Maybe do a little bit of crib. What else do we have? We got some Mexican train, which we get keep going from last night too. So let's see what we uh, let's see what we can dig up. And good morning guys. It is morning day two here up at Cathedral Provincial Park and for the first time since we've been here it's actually spectacularly sunny. So we are getting a first hand view and I'll kind of show you guys behind me of the full park itself. And uh, yesterday it rained for most of the day so it was a little bit a little bit gray and, and overcast to the point where you couldn't really see kind of the surrounding mountains. But today is spectacularly sunny, so we are gonna get a really good chance to see a lot of this stuff behind us. We are here for a total of four days, so we got some really good day hikes that we have planned. Um, hopefully, kind of up that entire ridge line you guys can see behind me there. And then if we can, we'll hit a few of these other spots along the way. Depends on distance. Big days might be closer to like 20k, so we'll see how we're feeling. But yeah, we're excited for a couple of really good days up here. Yesterday we just took the time and went up to Lady Slipper, which was a good kind of intro. But we've got some bigger stuff planned, um, and the weather looks like it's going to cooperate today. Hopefully it holds, see what we see along the way.
so we're finally getting going here today. It's just after 10 o'clock. We're gonna try and check out Goat Lake and then maybe up to kind of the boxcar area, which is a big open plateau up the top. It should be a pretty long day, but we'll see how long we can uh, we can last before we start running this thing because Bree is hanging out back at camp today. She's not feeling good. She hasn't slept in like three days. So hopefully she can get some good recovery and be ready to go for hopefully the rim tomorrow. Uh, weather's still really good, so we're hoping it, uh, it's a good day up top. And we're hoping to get the drone in the air too and shoot some, some stuff from the top ridge. So we just rolled into Goat Lake. I think I hear a goat. <laughs> <laughs> it took us just under an hour and a half to get here from base camp where we're set up at Lake of the Woods. So not a bad hike at all. It's actually beautiful, kind of meanders through the, the meadows a little bit, follows the creek all the way through, which you guys saw, which is absolutely kind of spectacular hike. And then you finally get to Goat Lake and this is why they call it cathedrals you are absolutely stuck in this basin and everything just rises up above you. We are hoping to get to the top of that today. Trail's a little bit undefined to start with, so we're gonna have to follow some cairns as we get up there. Wish us luck, cause it's gonna be a bit of a slog, I think, but uh, we'll take our time and see how far we can get up today. Alright, we just made it into the little bit of a valley in between Lakeview Mountain and the boxcar right up behind us. You go from this almost desert-like kind of landscape up over the ridge into a lush green forest once again. It's pretty out of this world kind of view and uh, hiking the ridge is going to be something pretty spectacular I think. The view from top of boxcar looks absolutely crazy. We're two and a half hours to this point, just to the saddle, and I'm guessing another 30, 35 minutes to the top, something like that. Yeah. We'll show you what it looks like from top uh, of boxcar. <laughs> Woo, we made it. Top of boxcar, amazing little ridge hike to the to the top here. Super, super happy. The weather is decent up top, and the views are spectacular. It's 360 degrees up here, and just peaks as far as the eye can see. I think boxcar is probably top three hikes we've done, especially in BC. Absolutely worth every second so far. Um, it's it's definitely a trek. We've got a bit of a hike down too and a really kind of crazy ridge line to get, get back across, but it's absolutely spectacular. Well, well worth doing boxcar, and then the Lakeview kind of trail home is what we're aiming for. Um, top three hikes we've done BC by far.
we're just hiking the ridge line on our way up to Lakeview Mountain, just descending down from the top of Boxcar. And we're just taking bets, the odds that we see some goats, because it is absolutely perfect goat territory right now. And the only one we saw was in camp this morning. So fingers crossed we see one. What do you think, honey? Awesome. We're gonna see a goat? I hope so. Finchy, odds goat on goats? Time. I hear him. I'll sniff them out. Perspective time. About 40 minutes ago, we were up that entire ridge. So that's boxcar there. And then we descended all the way down that ridge line. We've come through the back end of Lakeview Mountain. And now we just reached the kind of top ridge for summit number two. How's it feel today, Finchie? Feels good. It's a nice day to be out here. Pretty damn good. Oh, I see a mountain goat. She's wearing a pink sports bra. What a good guy. Building parents the entire way today. It does mean a drink tonight. Oh. Oh, you should have got the thunder in the outro. <laughs> We're doing it right now. Oh, hopefully it strikes. Hey, <laughs> we didn't film much after we got down over the uh, the Lakeview Mountain Ridge just because the sun escaped us. The rain threatened pretty bad, and it was a bit of a hustle. Yeah, it, it was a bit of a struggle to get down there actually, but we hustled like crazy. We're back at camp, and it is absolutely pouring rain. The <laughs> thunder and lightning are pretty crazy right now too. So we might be in for a bit of a thunderclapper tonight which is gonna be exciting up in the mountains, but we'll hunker down and hopefully stay dry <laughs> if possible. Hey? Just bizarre. What are the girls doing? Staying warm. <laughs> <laughs> I had a pretty easy day, so I'm full of energy. Hey, did we uh, color coordinate or what? <laughs> oh my God, look at that. So girl, oh my God, look at that. How do the girls do that? And uh, forest green for the guys. <laughs> Best friends. <laughs> yep, yep. All right, it's almost dinner time. We'll do up some food. Maybe we'll check Bye. back in. Camera might go back in the bag if it's too wet. We'll see. Anyways, we're all bagged from today. But looking forward to a good day tomorrow because the weather is supposed to be spectacular for the next couple days. Very, very sorry that we didn't even get to say goodnight last night because it was absolutely torrential downpour and then some of the heaviest winds I think we've ever seen up backpacking. So it was a crazy night. We just kind of called it early after dinner, went to bed, but I think we all rested pretty good so we're ready for a big day today. This is our second full day, third day technically up at uh, Cathedral Lakes. Yesterday we were able to scramble up to the Lakeview Mountain Summit 
and then we can actually snuck across to the box car as well so double summit day yesterday it was it was actually really good i think we did about 16k total hike time was about six hours we spent a, about an hour up at the box car just for some views which was kind of cool too today we've got probably our biggest day i would say and we're actually going to do the cathedral rim so as you guys can see behind me we're going to start there and work that whole peak line with possibly a little bit of a crazy scramble at the end up to Grimface, but it should offer us some of the best views that we get um, this entire trip. It's been good so far, and we're really lucky that we've got another good sunny day for, for at least most of the day. The, the forecast looks decent. We're sitting, having a coffee, getting packed up, ready to go, and uh, we'll kind of show you guys the, the Cathedral Rim today. It's actually pretty crazy if you get up here in the morning or even late at night into the evening. We're at Lake of the Woods right now, but it's just about any lake up here. There's kind of this orchestra, as Greg was calling it, a fish jumping out, and it's all over the place. They're just little, little trout, but they're super, super active. And I'll show you a shot of the bugs here, so you can kind of see. It's really, really, really good feeding time for these guys. Let's see if the camera can kind of pick up some of the jumping here. But it's pretty crazy to see this early in the morning. All right, we're back on trail. Day two. Hike to, we're shooting for the Cathedral Rim today with hopefully a summit up Grimface. And we got the four musketeers back together. <laughs> Woo -hoo! Sun's out, we're feeling pretty good. Let's see how long this takes us. What's up guys? This is Frontier French, bringing to you the top of uh, Pyramid Mountain. Take a little peek, see? Everest Dev was uh, gracious enough to give me his camera, whether he trusts me or not. See, he's way back there, flying his drone. Doing his nerdy drone stuff. Frontier Finch again, and now I've turned into Foraging Finch because I've eaten all my snacks and I'm starving. And based on the landscape around us, there's not much to eat. I'm currently keeping up the rear behind uh, Lichen Lene and Birchbark Bree, who have just done awesome today. Waken trail, no complaints. One ski stop. Hey, where'd your pack go? I left her at camp. Here. Constantly waiting for him. Here he comes. There's the camera guy himself. Whoop, whoop.
right, we just got to the top of Smokey the Bear and we're making our way all the way along. We're looking for the giant cleft, which is a kind of vertical cut in the rock. Hopefully we get there and then beyond that, we get into Grimface, which looks really ominous. It looks like it's way in the distance from here. There it is, way off in the distance. It looks huge from here. We'll see if it's doable today. Made it as far as we can. Only grim face left. Girls are gonna stop, have some lunch. Greg and I are gonna attempt to get up there. It looks heavily traveled today, so we'll see how long that takes us if we can get right to that summit. Last camera check. Camera's going in the bag. We'll see you at the top. that one off the list buddy ah. fuck yeah Done. we made it good scramble up to the top of grim face a little bit of a technical kind of start to it and it's not for the faint of heart because it is 360 degrees of straight down of awesome of awesome is right absolutely stunning this is what the cathedrals is apparently all about and uh and pretty excited that we actually made it up here that was well worth the 30 minutes from the, the last little rest point that you can do up here and a beautiful day to do it. Geocaching today. That's just a sneaky eye. What a good find. We're right at the top of Smokey the Bear on the way back. In this sneaky little rock. Great finds hidden treasures. Sorry, my name. Oh, is this is Oh, July 1st. Hey. Hottest day in Canada history. Great day to be here. Salmon arm. This gives you a bit of perspective on what we did today. So behind me, you got Smokey the Bear, the Cleft, and Grimface Top Peak, which is pretty damn good for one day. I think you can probably call that three, maybe even four summits. We're just ascending now down kind of into the valley. Eventually we'll kind of sneak back into Lady Slipper and then it's a straight shot home from there.
So, if you could go to any drive through fast food restaurant right now on a $10 budget, <laughs> yeah. what are you getting? Wendy's chicken strips, extra honey mustard sauce, iced tea, french fries. Damn! On the money! I'm kind of a degenerate. Four McDoubles. Aw, oh, okay. If it was a yeah. $12 budget, I'd do... $10. Well, just let me do $12. Matzo burger, combo with onion rings, root beer. A&W. $10 budget. JBC. And two of the spicy chicken rings. And a small fry. Spicy chicken. Two Junior Bacons on the side. We got 99 cent Frosties right now. I might do one of those too. The old homestead. Huge day. How many hours, Craig? That is eight hours, 40 minutes. Oh, that is a long day in the boots. We saw some spectacular stuff today, so well worth every mile. But it is going to feel real good to jump in that lake right there. Sit down with a pocket cocktail margarita, hey? Yes. And uh, on the line. have some food. It's well overdue. All in all, spectacular day up in the cathedrals though. I would recommend to a friend. Home sweet home. All right kids, here's today's hiking lesson. When you think you're a badass and you don't want to wear a shirt, make sure you don't have a backpack on. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry mom. <laughs> I'm like a little late shower. And a cocktail to finish off the day. Make the boys happy, eh? Cheers, buds. Chin chin. This is our view. Not a bad way to finish it off. Not so bad. Not so bad. Benches, what's on the dinner menu tonight? Okay, we'll this is uh, sweet chi oh, sweet chili and lime rice with rehydrated chili. Not so Spicy bad. Brie? No, it's not bad. Let's see. Looks a little like dog food right now. I haven't added the rice yet. Greg's looks real good. What's the verdict, Mr. Finch? I like that rice. <laughs> For next time? Yeah. Can you add a bit more water to mine? Chili and lime chili? rice? Sweet chili and lime. Yeah. Not a bad addition, I like it. Pretty okay. Review of Alpine Fair. Mac and cheese? Forever young mac and cheese. Forever young mac and cheese. Let's take a look. With added beef jerky. <laughs> it is so good. It's probably my second favorite compared to, it'd be a close, it'd be a front runner with pad thai, that's for sure. Okay, good to know. Mm -hmm. Very Forever young good. mac and cheese. Stamp Lush. of approval. Yes. So this is next level glamping. Steaks place as a rimmer. Oh! There we go. You have some? With oh. pocket cocktails, Bloody Mary, also known as the Canadian Caesar. Hey, hey! We should have kept the true lime and the sriracha from. That one wouldn't get it. Oh, yeah, the why didn't we eat this? Yeah! For spice. I'm so excited for this, it's gonna be good. All right, Camping Caesars. Mm. Whoop, whoop. Cheers, cheers. Cheers. Backcountry Caesars. Mm -hmm. Woohoo. Let's see. Not bad. <laughs> okay, well, <laughs> I don't know about that one. That's, that's, that's a Bloody the, Mary. The marks were good, the marks were good. I'm getting a hint of like a strong Which lime or steak? something. <laughs> Maybe it is the steak spice. I'll drink just about anything right now. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's a Bloody Mary. That doesn't taste like a Caesar. There's no kind no of... No clam. <laughs> yeah. Powder, powdered clam? Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> We're getting picky in our old age here. All right. Favorite moments, favorite part of the trail today. Brie. My favorite part of the trail was uh, heading up 
Glacier Lake, passing it, going through all the meadows, and then peaking. Uh, the contrast between the alpine and the rock face was, that was super, yeah. cool. super cool, super yeah. beautiful. And then once you got on the top and you got to look down at to what you just conquered, mm -hmm. I really like that. Yeah, that was really, really cool contrast. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Honey? I think like getting up to Smokey the Bear, like I really like that viewpoint and um, just, yeah, I, I also really liked the coming back down and seeing the view of like Lady Slipper and how blue it was too. And we yeah. were on our descent by that time. But I also, <laughs> although I was very nervous, it was really cool to see you guys walk up Grim Face, but I was like, <laughs> biting my nails the whole time. And <laughs> uh, what about you? Ah, uh, Grim Face, yeah. Yeah. Just, just because highest peak, yeah. Mm -hmm. Not everybody does it. Yeah. So. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. No, that one's hard to beat. I think actually shooting Greg sitting on the edge of the cleft oh, yeah. with the drone oh. was super nerve wracking, but probably my highlight other than Grim Face because I was absolutely buzzing coming down that. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Also, at yeah. the beginning of our hike, we ran into how many? Eight mountain goats. Oh, yeah. That was cool too. Yeah. <laughs> that that yeah. let, let us off. We'll show you a flashback right here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, that was super cool. Really <laughs> wow, look how short like, the one's coat. Yeah. Grim face harder going up or down? I said down. Greg said down, I thought going up. More nerve wracking or just harder physically? Harder physically, I think I got shorter legs than Greg does. So there's a couple footholds yeah, that I was, I was Are like, you sorry, I, I, actually I was was. like, Greg, how did I do it? How did you do this? I can't get my foot up there. You guys, I would have been losing it if I was actually close enough to see you. Like, it honestly looked like it was a breeze for you guys. Like, from Morning campers, day three. Made some jet fuel. Tastes like garbage, but it gets rid of the puffy eyes. It's supposed to be 30 degrees today. I think we're going to go to Scout Lake get up on the top side of that mountain there and possibly to the top of what I think is Red Mountain. We'll find out, wake the girls up, have a little brekkie. Pure coffee grounds. Doesn't get any better, let me tell you. Always think of you when spring comes Stay right there Like it's something in the air at that time Don't know why Always dream of you when spring comes It's like the heat on my skin takes me by to the time Met you on a Friday Halfway out at the door of the car And we're back on the trail once again we're gonna do a bit of a loop that takes us up to the top of a couple of these guys behind me. And we might walk a couple of the ridge lines, we'll kind of see how it goes. We're aiming for kind of that four to five hour hike today, so maybe a little bit of a recovery day, which should be good after some long, long kilometers in the last couple days. We're about two hours into kind of our Scout Lake perimeter trail. Beautiful kind of change of scenery today. Open meadows, tons of wildflowers. And we're hiking in this big open kind of range now. Right in the subalpine, which is super, super nice. The sun is beautiful, a little bit hot. We're all a little bit sunburned from yesterday. Spectacular day, a little bit lighter, but well deserved after the last couple days. Thank you. 
So tell us about that stick in your hand. I lost this stick on Wednesday when I was cleaning the fish on the creek. So I went back to get it, it was gone. Now, this is Saturday at the complete end, opposite end of the park. I found my stick. It's hilarious. That's karma for you. So we just stopped for a little bit of lunch. Guys, solo mission. Ditch the girl. Ditch the chicks. One more summit for the weekend. We're gonna try and get to the top of that guy right there, Red Mountain. Let's see how she goes. See if we got any lead left in the tank. So this is what we've got ourselves into. I thought we were done with the scrambling after yesterday. Hey? Surprise, surprise. Surprise, surprise. That's straight up shale. All right, so we just made it to the top of Red Mountain. We actually overestimated how long it would take us. It only took us about 20, 25 minutes. Bit of a shale scramble to get up here. Um, another insane view of the whole kind of cathedral layout. Since it didn't take us very long, we're eyeing up this guy behind us, which is the last on our list of the actual trifecta of the kind of valleys and the cathedrals. And uh, it's just Greg and I, so hopefully we scramble up here pretty darn quick. Eight goaters. Finally, last day. Full day and there they are. So as you guys saw, we just hit our final summit of the day. Quinesco, not Quinsico, like I've been calling it the whole time. Quinesco Summit. We're now just descending down into the saddle between here and Pyramid. And from there, we're gonna shoot down the pass and drop into Glacier Lake. And then it's just a quick shot down into, uh, into the campsite from there. I'm super stoked we did this. What do you think, Greg? Take them all the way up here and not do everything. I can't no slide! Oh yeah! Woo. the old ranch put a cap on that day that was a good one a little detour just the boys added to the summit total and it's time for a nice lake swim because it is smoking hot out today so we spent the afternoon hanging out down at the lake Super nice day. The bugs are actually horrible right now though, so we're trying to smoke them away with a little bit of citronella, but I Not had to show you. <laughs> Linnea just likes wearing this for some reason. I, we had to show you what Linnea is wearing right now. Check this out. 
I'm just a survivor, okay? <laughs> I'm a survivor. I think that's a cross. We got the Camo Joe <laughs> hair head net on it's top. It's Coleman. It's Coleman. <laughs> on. The t-shirt wrapped around the, the neck and two towels just to avoid the flies right now. Yeah, we'll show you the sunburn tomorrow maybe. We're gonna play a little bit of quick crebage and then we're gonna eat some dinner. All right, we have the piece de resistance of backpacking food tonight. Let's see it. <laughs> Look at Breeze, it'll give you a good. Creme brulee by Backpackers Pantry. That's getting there. AKA pudding. <laughs> so I think if you were to buy the like $2 pudding box, Jello yeah. pudding. Yeah, it's it the same you. Ooh, try that one time camping. I, I thought, thought about, about it. Last time we had this. I hope you guys are pleasantly surprised because we've done this one time before and it was actually quite good. Cheers! <laughs> well, not too crispy over top. <laughs> what can you expect? <gasps> oh, is that your first one, Brie? Mm. <laughs> first bite! <laughs> <laughs> That's the only it's, <laughs> <laughs> it's decent! Would you, would you buy it again though? That is the question. Sure. For that I price. I'm gonna buy a box of Jello. Yeah, I probably would not. You wouldn't? You don't like it? I like it, but I'd probably like pack like a chocolate bar or three. Really? I like it because I find well, the topping is definitely sweet, but I like the creamy, like mm -hmm. richness of the of the creme brulee. <laughs> oh, you girls are cute. Good morning. It is just before eight o'clock here on our final morning in Cathedral. Beautiful sunshine again. We got really bad weather to start the trip and really, really good weather to kind of finish the trip. But it's nice in the morning here. Greg and I are just hanging out down on the lake, kind of as is our morning routine, having a coffee and enjoying some early morning sunshine. But we're a little bit sad because it's our last day here. We're taking off this afternoon. All in all, it was a spectacular trip. Really, really crazy hiking in and around the cathedrals that you can do just from a bit of a base camp. And we hit the entire perimeter of that park, just as you can kind of see behind me. Every one of those peaks, cross them off the list. We did four days up here in total, uh, with a little bit shorter hike down the first day and then three fairly good sized days after that. I would say if you're coming to the cathedrals, give yourself a good amount of time because you want to be able to see all that it has to offer for sure. The big one is that rim trail, which most people are gonna be on. But if you wanna see some of the other ones that are well worth the, the time and effort, I would say give yourself that little bit of space. It's one of the hidden gems, I think. And again, becoming more and more popular in BC. If you're looking for a really, really good kind of escape where you can base camp and then day hike from there, Cathedrals is a pretty spectacular option. <music> Last day, leaving Cathedral, all geared up, packed out, garbage in tow. Hey guys, did you have fun? That wasn't very strong, that was pretty weak. <laughs> okay, only like another 15 and we're out of here. Hopefully we can get out on those old unibog thingies instead of riding in on those uh, Suburbans. We'll see. Bye. Ah, ooh. So we got one little last detour. We've got a little bit of time to kill before our transport down. So we're checking out the uh, Quinisco Lake Loop and actually the Quinisco campsites are really nice with some sweet tables and they've actually got a bit of a goat or squirrel cache, not quite a bear cache, but a spot to store your food. So a really, really good alternative if you're looking for something where you can pack pretty heavy 
and still get out and do some day hikes. Nice little loop here to finish off our day. The lake looks pretty inviting. I think if we had a little bit more time, we'd all be toes in the water. Driving, man. That was, that was awesome, dude. Okay. You guys get the option and you're brave enough to volunteer, you can take the old Unimod down. But believe me, it's a bit of a workout and a dusty workout at that. Alright, we made it. We're back in the car. Trip done. Four days of the cathedral. Yes. We will be back. I think we'll be back. Okay? Hey? High five. Cheers! <laughs> It's Coleman. It's <laughs> We're getting picky in our old age here. I'll drink just about anything. Hey, well, I don't know about that one.